Well, hello everybody. Um, it's Kelly again, obviously, since you're watching my channel. Got that right, right? Okay, this is going to be part three. Three? Three? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm doing a junk journal. Now, in part one, we did the cover and we showed the different kinds and the different styles that you could do. Um, part two, we made some signatures and we actually put three signatures in here. So if you can see that, there's one signature, two signatures, three signatures. Okay. Now you separate the pages and actually the reason for the signatures is so that you don't just have one big one in the middle and then your book ends up looking like that when you're done. Okay. Your signatures help spread everything out, spread the width, the weight, everything. So now part three, we are going to um, start decorating uh, the signatures. Now, some people decorate the signatures before they put them in. Some people don't. Um, for me, I was just kind of, it was a step one, a step two, and a step three. So if you've already done signatures and you already know how, then you don't have to watch this. If you've already done a cover, then you don't have to worry about, you know, throwing everything else in there with it. You just watch the cover and then you're done or the watch the signatures and then you're done. And so now we're going to decorate the signatures. And again, it's the same concept. Uh, use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, $200 worth of ephemera just to decorate a journal okay you can do anything you want um, you can make each of these calendar pages if you'd like um, actually we used a calendar in uh, some of them you know because the, the pictures were so pretty see look at that Isn't that pretty there we go okay um, you know, so you can you can do anything you want with it. For me, I've got ah, uh, that's right. I gotta fix the envelope. Remember, because I just threw it in there when I was putting the signatures together. But that's okay. You can leave the cover the way which for now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave this cover here. But I do want to do something on the on the inside front cover. Now we'll decorate the outside when we're all done. When we kind of know where we want to go with the journal, we might come up with a theme halfway through it. We might not. You know, it all depends. Me, I decorate my cover when I'm done. And then that way I can tailor it to how I feel the inside of the journal has turned out. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to, like, do a certain style or, you know, like maybe decorate it shabby chic and then the inside not turn out that way. It just, anyway. I know, I'm kind of crazy, but that's all right. Crazy is good in art, you know? So, but for me, that, I'm going to leave that because I like that. I mean, I might add some words and, and, you know, maybe some ribbon or some trim around the outside. I'm not sure yet. But for now, in all intents and purposes, I'm going to leave that. But I want to show you, um, you ever get those paper packs? And there's always those few sheets of paper that you don't like or, you know, you just have extras or you just have trim and scraps and things like that. Well, the same concept that you use to make the signatures, you use to decorate it. All right. Um, now, me, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and decide where I want pockets. Right. Now, pockets for me are going to be made from a little bit stiffer, stiffer material. Okay, like this is a is a um what do you call it? <laughs> the cover of a postcard notepad. You know, a color yourself postcard thing. But uh, um, what do you call it? It's it's pretty sturdy. All right, so what I'm going to do with this is I really like this design with the um, with the suitcases on it. So I am going to get my scissors 
we can get a ruler and let's determine how we want to put this pocket. I may just do a tuck spot. I'm going to cut some of this off. I could get out my cutter and it's right down here at my feet, but in fact, I probably ought to because I cannot cut a straight line to save my life, even if I draw the line. All right. Okay, so we cut the bottom part off. I kind of want... Yeah, let's do that. All right, can I see how I did that? I left a little bitty um, ledge right here. Or edge, ledge, however you want to call it. And there's a reason for that. Let me set this right here. I'll put my mouse thing over here. All right. Now I could probably score this, but that would just make too much sense. And for something this small, I'm just going to fold it. Now I'm folding it over and giving it a little bit of a edge so it gives me some room to put things in the pocket. And this is pretty stiff, so it's a little bit difficult to... Okay. And then I'm going to just cut at an angle on the corners so that when I fold up the bottom, there's not that extra bulk there. There we go. Oh my goodness, yeah, I probably should have used my scoreboard, right? But I've, I've only just gotten one, so it's kind of habit to just not use it. But it's not too bad. Not too bad for a girl, right? But I'm trying to also show you things that you can do, and you don't have to have the equipment. You don't have to have, you know... Like I said, you don't have to have all of that other stuff. All right, now, and I really like that. I'll probably put like a flower or something, I don't know, some sort of something to cover just that right there. But for the most part, I like the rest of that. And that's a little bit too... Oh, where's my Tombow? And of course, I can't find it right now, so I'll have to grab another one. Oops, give me just a second. I will be right back. I'm just leaning right over here. Let me go. Now, you can use double-sided tape. You know, if you've got the real thin stuff, uh, me, all I have is one, one size. So, um, my double-sided tape won't fit. Now with this, I'm going to, well, see, I didn't do a whole lot of measurement. All I did was just cut it. I'm going to smooth that out just a little bit. Oh, I forgot I got a good baby boy. I ran out of my big bag, so I've been using this little travel thing that came with the big bag until I can get some more. Okay. I'm doing the same right here.
and I'm just spreading this out so it'll get a good a good seal. Let's put it right there. Okay, so for the inside cover, this is going to be a pocket slash tuck spot. And there we go. Now for that to set, what I like doing, you've seen me do this before, is I will put some clips on it. That's so that, you know, when it, as it dries, it gets a really nice, good, solid seal. And helps hold it in place while I'm working on other parts of the journal. And you don't have to be as nitpicky as me. Me, this is just how I do it. Okay, so now I've got a pocket there. And with the blue on here and the browns and the orange right here, it kind of matches with this and I didn't even intend it to be that way. But you know what? Happy accidents, right? So we'll let that set for just a minute. And that's one pocket. Let's see where we want to put another pocket. Well, we got a pocket right here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will, I'm going to trim the top of this and open it up there. But because the flap was right there, I don't want to have to cut the flap off. So I'm just going to glue this flap down right here. You see that? And look, we got a pocket. And even if we don't want a pocket that deep, Okay, cut it down. And yeah, I know, I just glued it, but hey. And actually, I'm going to just leave that little flap right there. Looks like a little bitty book on its own, right? But then we've got, oh, let's see. Is that wide enough? That's a little too too wide. Let's find something. Hmm. Yeah, I was going through some, you know, some boxes and, and things I had set aside. I don't know if, if you're anything like me. <laughs> My, uh, no, that won't work. Let's see. I need something thinner. That's why. That'll work for now. Um, what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll have a whole bunch of stuff like I'm in a pile on my desk or something and I don't feel like putting it all away in its individual spots. So I'll put it all in one box and figure, okay, I'll go through it later. And then I forget about it and it's just sitting there and I'll do it again the next time and the next time and the next time. And finally I've got these random boxes and bags everywhere filled with all kinds of stuff. So today I went through a bunch of those and found some really interesting things, you know, uh, which I thought, you know, would make really great items in uh, my, the journal. And for instance, you know, I was working on my jelly plate one time and trying different techniques when I first got it. And I was working with my alcohol inks and not really knowing what to do with it. But these are what I came up with. And then I've got a couple cards in the middle because I was going to make this into its own little journal. And that's why I clipped them together because they were the perfect size. What I didn't realize is when I was using my alcohol inks, what I was doing was I was using photo paper. Okay. Well, alcohol inks don't work very well on photo paper. Glossy cardstock, yes. Photo paper, no. Unless you use the back of the photo paper. <laughs> which to me didn't make any daggum sense. <laughs> so I'll see how that would have worked. Isn't that pretty? That would have worked. 
and we'll put that one right here for a minute and we'll just leave that be okay so now we've got two pockets um let's go in a little bit more i see now that's pretty um yeah we're still in the first signature And there's the back of that one. All right, so, and here's that other pocket. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna go ahead and before I glue it, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it where I want it. Not thinking, you know. Now this would have been easier had I done this prior to. Wasn't that a cool little tuck spot? So we'll leave that aside. And we've got a, a, another little pocket. Right. Oh, the one thing I wanted to do. Let's see if I can see it. Okay. Get you a circle punch. This really helps okay you can flip this upside down oh that's way too big hold on let me get the smaller one there we go okay pull that off so you can see what's coming in the bottom and then you put your paper in halfway there. And now you've got a little, I, my words are gone today, people. I am so sorry, you know, but there's a little, like a little divot in the hole. I'm pulling that out. Okay. This is why a lot of people decide to do theirs before they, um, decorate. Normally I don't have this much difficulty. I just, I'm trying to do it in a really small area. And I'm not having a really good time at it. So, okay. Let's put this out of the way, that out of the way. Put that up. Okay, so where did our second pocket go? And there's our first pocket. There's our second pocket. So we'll go halfway and do a half circle, cut out, punch right there. All right, so we've got two pockets in this signature, but I, I want more than just the two. So let's do let's do some tuck spots as well. All right, let's find. Let's see, that's a postcard I started decorating. I haven't finished it. See, I have a lot of backgrounds. <laughs> Got some cardstock that I I cut for um, mats a long time ago and never used them, which I learned my lesson. You know, you don't cut out a whole bunch for just cut what you need when you need them. Um, kind of like. But you can pretty much do anything you want. Let's use this one. Ooh, tuck spots. That's another thing. Say you've made any clusters or embellishments or things like that. See, that's a really pretty one. Let's, I've got that. That's pretty. These are what the flowers I made with uh, alcohol sprays. That 
that may not hold. Let me turn on my glue gun. Okay, I'm going to let that set, but that's a really pretty color combination for right there, right? Uh, let's see. Got a really pretty tag right here. Hmm. Uh oh. My paper punch. a little off center but that's okay and what will we use to and that match yeah that'll match <laughs> did I just lose my, my tag? I bet I did, didn't I? There it is. All right. That's funny. Let me pull that through. Oh, great. Now the landlord decides to send the guy over to do our lawn. So we've got that tag, but we don't really have anything on the front of it. So we'll just throw that aside and we'll come back to it. Decorate. Now you can stamp on this. You can, I've got this from a journal. There's a journaling pack. Okay, which is kind of cool. Because we didn't put really anything in here where we could write on or journal, not with lines anyway. So... What we can do here is, let me get, see I told you I was just using what I have in my desk and I'm not even quite, quite, uh, what do you call it, ready for all that. I think I should get some of those makeup brushes that you can stencil with. That'd be awesome. And since I don't, I'm just going to just kind of do this really, really lightly. Nothing spectacular. <coughs> Excuse me. And even though this doesn't look like you can see very much, and I don't know if you can even see it at all, but when you pull up the stencil against the white, against the white paper, you can actually see it pretty good. All right, now see, that looks really good if you can see that. See right there? That was just a solid black or a solid white piece of paper. Now we've got a journal spot. Let's see if there's a couple others we can do that with. Let's see, there's a spot. And if we decide to, you know, go over it with something else, then that's fine too. It only took us a couple of minutes to do this, right? And I said, I haven't gone through the pockets or anything on the second or the third signature, 
which is fine. We're just kind of throwing things together, give you an idea as to how, how to, how it's possible. Some possible, some possibilities anyway. See, now that's pretty, I like that. Now this one, it's got some blue on the background, so that's what I'm going to use. And give the the journaling a little bit of color. And there we go. See, now that's pretty. So let's see if there's any other pages. We could probably do it there, but we'll give it a page or two. That one fold it over. And do that one. Yeah, let's do this one. And if you don't have one of these, I only just got one of these. It was like a free gift and something else I got. And I don't even have any replacement sponges, so this is the only one I use it for. And I use this one with uh, Vintage Photo, that Ranger ink. And then we can put a sentiment or something up across the top. Set these aside, move that over there. We can take these off now. Because it really doesn't take long for the glue to dry. And actually, we can probably put this tag right there. Now, on, usually on all my tags, because um, I don't like the idea that this can come loose. So what I'll do is if I've got my hot glue out, then I'll use hot glue. I'm still waiting for mine to warm up, so I'll put a little bit of this Tombow in there. Not a whole lot, just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, security so that won't come out. But I can't really put it in there now because now it's got to dry. So let's see where else. We did it on that side. And we did it on that side. Um, that was something I'd written when I was testing out, you know, how my sprays were going to look when I made my own alcohol sprays with Sharpie markers and that fun stuff. So we're going to do a journal thing on this side of the pink. And there's still enough um, ink on the sponge where I almost don't even have to re-ink it. I said almost, not completely. See how subtle that is and how pretty? Doesn't have to be black. Doesn't have to be, you know, in your face. 
Um, let's see. Okay, we've got the little pocket there, and then that's the end of this signature for those. Do we want any more pockets in here? I don't know. Do we? Maybe? All right, well, there's that one piece of pink that would have been really pretty with this. Well, that rolls up too much. No, I think it's okay. So the hot glue gun should be hot enough. Yep. I did these flowers right here on a uh, on a live video. I was just kind of farting around, seeing how it would look. And uh, it actually came out pretty cool. <laughs> and those are the best kind, right? The happy accidents. I was just like, oh, clip, 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 punch, punch, punch. Let's see what we do with this one. And that's pretty much all I did. Okay. So we've got a pocket on the inside right here. We've got a pocket right here, which we could probably decorate the front of this because you know y'all aren't going to want nobody's going to want my address on it let's see hmm. okay i had a brain cramp not funny now these are some of the things i pulled out we'll set this aside for just a minute okay that i pulled out of one of those boxes i had set aside all right this was just a stack of papers. I was like, oh, okay. I've got this one. I don't know if that will match very well. Oh, but this one might. Well, this one? Yeah, that one will. Okay. So what do you think? Over the, the polka dots? And I don't have to cover the whole thing. Just enough to cover my address. Because it was, you know, an envelope sent to me. From my church, actually. Yeah. Let me get my big... Circle punch. It's a medium one. Oh, come on. Oh. There we see how that does. Well, let's do another one. We'll do one out of this. I always like doing my punches upside down so I can see exactly where it lands on my paper. And then, you know, I have less waste. deal with that. Do we want another one? No, if we do, I want a plain, a more plain one. We'll do a smaller one. How's that sound? And I usually just take these off. Oh, 
Nope, that's too plain, too close. Let's try a different one. Will this one match? Not really. Mm. This one should though. That color. I like that. Okay. So let's wipe up any excess. When I'm doing something like this, I try not to, unless I'm going to leave it permanent, I'll try not to glue it all the way to the edge because there may be a time when I'm going to come through and I want to tuck something in and I'll glue it that way. And that one just scooched out too much. So we'll just wipe off the excess. So you know what that did was it covered up the address. It also gave it a little bit more oomph. And I can come back and I can put a little bitty graphic or I can stamp something or a word or sentiment or anything. This is not by any means the end all of this pocket, so to speak. Neither is that pocket for the front. You know, I may decide to come through and let me see. Oh, not there. Not that one. <laughs> okay, I lost. I lost some graphics. Did I? Yes, I believe I did. I don't remember where I put them. Let me see. No, nope, not in that one. Not in that one, I don't believe. Okay, I really lost my mind. Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> I didn't put them away, that's why. Okay. Um, I got these borders in a happy mail. Yeah, so I can even just come through and do that. I can do that with the borders. That's here. That's this one. All right. So we've got that. We've got that there. We've got some journaling done. Oh, let's see. Is the tag? Yeah. Tag is sort of glued. No, it's glued. We tuck that right there. And we need a little tag for right here. So let's see. I have this. We'll just cut it. This is a scrap piece from my jelly plate. No, I didn't measure it, so I'm probably going to be cockeyed. And I am a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a little better. I'll put the ribbon on it later. There we go. Okay, so now we know that pocket's done. That tag. It's really, really easy. You can do anything you want. You can stamp all over it. You can put stickers on it. You can um, put sentiments. Like, I've got this one, but it's huge. So, 
let me see, friends or family you choose for yourself. Let's try that one. But so I don't wonk it all up, which I'm very good at. Let me pull out my paper cutter. Trying to find, there it is. Put that aside for just a minute. All these papers. Yeah, so I found this stack in one of those um, boxes. Or, you know, random boxes that I said, oh, I'll put this away later. <laughs> yeah, okay. That always works, right? That always works so well. Okay. Whoop, there goes my glue gun. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought it would be a good spot to put it. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to put this all in one shot. So I'm going to cut it. And then I'll trim it again. There we go. I'm going to set these aside. Actually, this is a good... I don't like this for the for the front. Friends are family. You choose. For yourself. Author unknown. That would kind of look cool. What do you guys think? And kind of do them all wonky. I don't like that. I like that. But I think what I want to do is maybe put... Well, I don't know if it'll work, but let's just try it for poops and giggles, and we'll just see. What's the worst can happen? We throw it out and say, nope, not this one. Or use it for something else. Hmm. I have no idea why I just tried this because I cannot cut on a straight line to save my life. So let's see. Let's see if we put a, a, a trim or a border on this if it would look any better. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. But this time I'm going to use my glue stick. I need a piece of scrap. Let's just use the back of this for now. Oh, well. See, I'm not that... I think my eyes are crossed. I was born with my eyes crossed. That's why I can't cut a straight line. So we'll go, actually I kind of want to do it this way and then this way. So we've got that one. Ooh, I know what to do. Probably do this much better. Instead of cutting it all individually, if I glue it all on, <laughs> okay, have I confused anybody yet? See, sometimes, sometimes you'll come across something that I think this is perfect for the front of this journal. But had I sat down and decorated prior to, I wouldn't have found this. Let's see, friends, our family, there's the you choose. Right here? Nope. 
And this is just that Dollar Tree glue stick. Works really good. Not as good as, you know, some others, but in a pinch. All right. Now, let's hope. Uh-oh. Let's hope I have another one of these, because that will really suck if I don't. Oh, no. Okay. Whoops. I may have to redo this. I guess it would help if I would have checked it the first place, wouldn't it? Now I'm going to have to kind of remeasure and put it a little bit closer than I wanted. Well, we could just matte the author unknown on a different color. Maybe not, but we'll see. Our family, you choose for yourself. We didn't even have to put an author unknown since it is an author unknown, right? I really like that. I think that'll come out really nice. Okay, let's see how it looks straight. If that looks any better straight. I don't know, kind of looks good both ways, doesn't it? Okay, well, since we know that's what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and set this aside. Friends are family, you choose for yourself. Okay, let me get a paper clip. Or a little, I got these little mini uh, uh, clothespins at Walmart for like a buck. You get like 50 of them in a little bag. And I painted them all and then I took glitter glue and glittered them. So, yeah. There, and we'll just set those right here for now. Or, actually, I can put them right here so I don't lose them or misplace them in all this mess. So that was kind of a nice on-the-side thing, don't you think? But you can go through and you can do this. Little things like this, you know. Um, let's, let's see. Doo -dee -doo -doo -doo. I lost it. Oh, here we go. I got stickers. Okay. Let me see. On this. These are letter stickers. Oh, how do we want to do that? Something as simple as pull that off now I don't know about you but I never trust the sticky on a sticker so if I'm going to pull it off I'm 
I'm going to put some kind of glue on the back also. So we're just going to stick it right there. I didn't measure this. <laughs> okay, let's pull these off. We'll put the E back on here. Since obviously I did not measure this, I'm not going to have enough to do hello. So let's go. Let's go. Hi. If I put it way over here, I might have. I don't have punctuation sticker on this, but that's okay. I can always take a marker. And make one. Something just out of the blue. Now, honestly, to tell you the truth, I had no idea what I was going to do when I started. And that is the God's honest truth. And I'm still sort of, you know, kind of winging it. Since that one didn't come out as well as I like, I will outline it with the black. And there we go. See? How easy was that? Alrighty. Now, let's see. Now, there's another one I can erase because like I said I was just using whatever I had when I made the signatures. Whatever I had. Hmm. Now, these are round stickers that I was given in a happy mail. Don't know where I want to put them, but you know, hey. Hey, where's that one that we had where we could put a sentiment across the top? Remember? Was it back to decent way? It had to be. I believe this was the one. Um, that's too... Hey, we can put Author Unknown up here. That'll work. That's funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, Author Unknown. And it fits perfect and it matches. Paper clip to hold this on while the glue sets just for a minute. Oh, I can leave that there. That looks good. Okay. See? <laughs> Happy accidents. <laughs> I like accidents like that. But that's just an idea, an example. Right, now let's. I don't think I really want anything else on the front of it. I believe this being plain would work by itself. What do you guys think? I don't want to use a hot glue because I want it, I want some wiggle room. But I am going to use a wet glue that I can work with, like Eileen's.
I decided to go ahead and leave it leave it straight although I really kind of like it cockeyed there we go I think I'm gonna go with my original I like it cockeyed I can't help it that's probably because I am cockeyed remember I can't see straight uh, or I can't cut straight I really like that. Friends or family, you choose for yourself. And you don't have to go, you know, balls to the wall, so to speak, and decorate the hell out of it so you don't even see what it looked like in the first place. I like simple. Okay. Um, I might throw a flower or maybe a, a little goofy, you know, whimsical thing. But I like that. I might add a little bit of glitter. I might just leave it alone. That might be all I do. Okay. But that's, that's that. Didn't, oh, let me see. I'll throw a little bit down here. Okay. And the colors just seem to go really well with that, um, with the metallic wallpaper we used for the cover. Okay, so there's this. Put the cat back on there. Let's set that over there. And we will put these back in the little drawer. And throw this extra stuff away. But you see how simple that was? And it was just, honestly, it was just, oops. <laughs> And it looked good. I'm not even sure this part, this tag matches that. So I may use a different one. Like this. I like that color. No, I don't. There's not enough color. Or there's too much color. I haven't figured it out. But, yeah. So you can decorate and do anything you want. And I will tell you this. When I was going through my boxes. Alright. We'll let that dry for just a second. Um, when I... When I um, cut, if I have wide pieces of scrap off of something I'm cutting up, I'll think, oh, that'll look good in a signature. And if I do, then I'll put it aside and um, I'll clip it to use as a signature. Like, for instance, okay, I've got some book pages here that I thought, okay, well, I had these left over. I might use them in a signature. I might not. Right here, I had a bunch of printouts, and perfect because at the bottom, there are, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Bible verses, you know. So this would be a really nice little, you know, giveaway. And it's all about women, you know, in the strength of women in the Bible, and how precious women are to God. So I thought this would be a really nice uh gift for a secret sister at church or something like that. So I kind of put those together and that's got like three signatures right there. So this is enough for a little journal all by itself. All right, set those aside. Here's some of my painting papers. Okay. Scraps left over or just stuff I was doing. And I just put them into a signature setting and I may never use them in a signature, but I think they're really pretty. 
This is when I, <laughs> when I very first started my, I uh, got my jerk, my jelly plate and I went bananas. I did. I just, I had so much fun with it that I ran out of room in the living room, in the kitchen, in the dining room, in my bedroom. I was even putting things in the bathroom to dry. That's how much fun I had. Same with this one. But see, when I was cutting, they're just about the same size. Dang it. I'm just not in frame right now. Okay. Just about the same size. So that would be a good two signature journal. And they're semi matching. Right? And then here was some extra coffee dyed papers that I had, and I had quite a bit. So I've got four signatures here, and they're already cut to size, would be perfect to put inside another journal. So I'll, I, I forgot all about them, you know? But none of these are anything that I went out and bought. You know, I made this coffee, coffee dyed paper. Um, obviously, I made the, the painting papers. These I printed out for something else and had a bunch left over. So I just cut these up and used these, made these into little bitty signatures. So, you know, I used my leftovers. And then this was just extra book pages that I had at the time, which I probably won't put in a signature like this. I might put like a page or two with a signature. But, you know, so that's another idea that you can use. Yeah, I think I'll work on this one. Maybe use that one as a Halloween one or something. And then again, I had, there were some uh, graphic 45 cards in a paper pack I bought. And they they matched really well with some of the alcohol pages I did. And I thought this would make a really nice, you know, mini, mini journal. And they were all, they all matched the sizes. So that's another one. So, you know, your, your possibilities for doing things like this are completely in absolutely <laughs> limitless. Um, the only limits you have are the ones you put on yourself. And that's, that's honest. Um, you know, I can sit here and decorate every single page with you, you know, which I'm not going to. Um, I might do a couple more here and there. But you get the point. You don't need my imagination clouding up your brain or your mojo. You know, like on this side, we put the pockets going in sideways. So let me use this. And see, half a hole. We'll do that on this side too. Oh, and if you didn't want a circle, okay, I'll give you another example. If I can find it without, oh, without breaking an arm or a hip. <laughs> oh, I'll probably, well, this might be it. Yep, this is it. Okay, this is a scallop. And there you go. You know, um, let's see, there's another, there's another one. So we can do a scallop. I don't want a very big scallop, so I'll only put it in a little bit. Oh, something else I wanted to show you. Hold on. I'll do a circle on this one. Okay, let's see if there's any more. Let's see, there's one that you can glue up, do however you want. Let's see. Okay, no more pockets that way, so let's put these up.
one of the other things um, we had I had little pieces of uh, cardboard left over from when I was making the journal cover okay remember me saying something about um, you know using it for tabs or, or page dividers or something along those lines well let's see that's perfect size so we're going to take one of these round circle stickers and I'm going to put it right in the middle then I'm going to, I should have folded it first I believe but that's okay not quite a straight fold but it's good for all intents and purposes. Now they're still sticky around it, right? And I'm just using what I have. I'm winging it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And I'm going to take this and let's see. This is the first signature. So let's put this on the first page of the second signature. And we will stick it out a little. Oh, I forgot I got to put glue on both sides, don't I? Duh. Okay, there we go. Okay, the first signature on this, the first page of the signature, second signature. Good grief. Right, and... Ta-da. Okay, that didn't come out quite the way I was hoping it would. Not with the circle on it. So let me go ahead and trim then. I see the ends. Didn't quite come out looking the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. That's another thing. If you mess up or you don't get what you like, you can always throw it out and do it again. That's the fun about it being a junk journal. Okay. So there we go. And that's kind of scooching out the sides. But there. You've got a tab now right here that'll open up to the second signature and if you wanted to do the same thing for the third I'm not real happy with that so let's see one of these other pages Nah, I don't like that either I'll figure it out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this in half get this ready that there. And trim the sides. some glue and since that tab is up top I will put this one in the middle and now I'm not putting it in all the way right I'm not making it flush because I want the tab to stick out I don't know if the glue got all the way down, so I will just put it there. And then I will take a clip and hold it there for a minute. This one I probably should have done the same thing, but it looked like it was holding fairly well. That's not big enough. I need a bigger clip. I don't have a bigger clip. 
I need to get me some more binder clips. That's what I need to do. I'm going to let this set for just a second. And there you go. You know, so now you've got a tab for your first or your second signature for your third signature. And if you want one for your first, you can always put one in. Uh, let's see. Make it even at least. There we go. But we want it this way so we can cover it up with the sticker. And you can paint it. You can do whatever. You don't have to use a sticker, obviously. I'm just doing it because it's here. There. And it pretty much fits what I need. So that's what we're doing. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Let's do the first page. And again, I'm not putting it in flush to the fold because we want a measure of some of that to stick out. Now you can also use, this was just leftovers, you know, recycles from the cover. So, but a lot of people use ribbon. Um, they'll use lace. Uh, let me see. I'll give you an example. Um, that's my flower thing. I don't want to do that. Oh, now see, look, here's a butterfly. Oh, it's a butterfly clip. I can probably just put that right there, but I don't want to do that because then it'll make it difficult to, all right, here's a piece of lace, but this is also stretchy lace. So this would make a good, um, a tie. We'll leave that there for a minute and we'll keep looking. I've got another little bag of uh, goodies, but this can go here with that. All righty. This little, this stuff, <laughs> whatever you call it. <laughs> Those of you, my words are not a strong point today. Yeah, and I'm just cutting little pieces. All right. You can use something like this. Fold it over and you've got, you know, another little tie, another little pull. Whatever you want. That's why I was saying your imagination is limited only by you. Okay. Yeah. I should have left the clip on that a little bit longer. Okay. You see, that looks kind of cool. But I'm not going to put that there. Uh, let's see. So, you know, you've got your three signatures, your tabs at first signature, second signature, third. You've got a pocket up front. You've got a pocket in here with a tag that we can decorate at another time or whatever. Um, you know, anything you want to do. I still like that, that author on that. Okay. Um. There's another little pocket. So, I hope this helps. I hope it helps you get over the initial hump that it would it would take. And I know it took me, uh, you know, some serious. And what do you call it? I had to grab myself by the short and curlies. Is that what they say? I don't know. Anyways. I had to build up nerve before I started my first one. But when I started it, and when I got going, it was like a whole world opened up. And it was awesome. It really was. Okay, now that one I was just 
gluing down the flap that didn't quite stay closed. See over here there's some little bitty pieces that lifted up, which I'll go ahead and just stick in there. Now this Tombow glue, the reason I'm wiping off the excess is not just to make it stick or not stick to the next page, um, but it's like that repositionable stuff where you, if you squirt it out and you let it dry, it stays tacky. It doesn't, it doesn't dry just hard. I've made that mistake. Hold on. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I made that mistake. I didn't know um, when I first got it. And um, the only way I was able to get it from unsticking was taking baby powder and just, you know, taking my uh, my brush and brushing baby powder over it so the baby powder would stick to the tacky and it wouldn't stick to itself. That was the only way I could figure it out. Um, but, yeah. So, this is... This is... Um, a way to use what you have. Very simple. Um, the next one I do, I have not done one like this before. Well, I did do a Halloween one, so I'm debating on that one or another theme, but I'm waiting for um, some... No, I think it came in already. Okay, my bad. Uh, I've got three different ones I want to do. There's a Halloween one. There's an Alice in Wonderland one. There's a Sherlock Holmes one. And I want to do those uh, those three. So we'll do a theme. I don't know which one I'm going to want to do. If you guys want to see one, one of those, uh, give me a comment down in the thing. Tell me which one you guys would like to see me do. And I'll do the one that gets the most... Uh, comments on. You know, if I get five that say Sherlock Holmes, but only two that says Alice in Wonderland, I'll do a Sherlock Holmes one. Um, same with uh, whatever other ones. So Halloween's coming up. Uh, I've done a Halloween one, but I'd love to do another. Uh, I haven't done an Alice in Wonderland one, and I haven't done... Um, a Sherlock Holmes one, but any one of them will be fine with me. So just let me know in the comments which ones you think I should do. All right, and on that note, uh, a couple of things. Uh, I'm almost at my 1,000 subby mark, you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have, uh, once I hit 1,000, I'm going to do a pretty big giveaway. And depending on how many people respond to the video I'm going to do regarding the giveaway will determine on how many um, prizes I give out. And I usually do, there's a box and you'll have tape and glue and, and I mean, things still in the package, brand new stuff, not just whatever I can reach on my cabinet or my counter and throw in the you know, throw in a box. That's not how it works. But, uh, it's whatever, you know, I have. And it's usually stuff that's brand new, still in the package. If you look at any of my other videos on my 300, my 500, and my 750 giveaway videos, you'll see I do decent, decent giveaways. Um, but give me a thumbs up, okay? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, if you want me to do a, a, a Sherlock Holmes, an Alice in Wonderland, a Halloween one, and or if you think of another one that you might like to see done, you know, throw that down there too, and we'll see what we can we can come up with. All right. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, ask your friends to subscribe. Share my channel. That would be great. Because the quicker we get to 1,000, the quicker I can give a whole bunch of stuff away. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite things to do is give stuff away. Um, I'm trying to keep these uh, these little tutorials uh, around an hour, less than an hour and a half. 
So I'm going to go ahead and, and let you guys go here. I'm going to clean up and I might, I might go ahead and start working on another uh, cover at least. I'm not sure. <laughs> but have a great day. Okay. Remember to always keep the humor in life. And um, God bless. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.